the Shadow Secretary of State for International Development, Harriet Harman, to address conference. Thank you, Marianne, for coming to our conference. Uh, there can only be an end to the suffering in Somalia when there's an end to the conflict. And thanks very much to Islamic Relief and all the aid agencies who are doing such heroic work. No one listening to Marianne and seeing the work of Islamic Relief can be in any doubt about the terrible suffering in the famine. And no one should be any doubt that our aid is alleviating suffering and saving lives. Everyone in this country who contributed so generously to the Disasters Emergency Committee appeal should be really proud of what the money they have given is doing. And everyone's entitled to be proud of what our De Department for International Development is doing. And we should pay tribute, too, to the massive support that comes from the communities of African origin living in this country who are working hard and sending money back home. Our aid matters. It matters to the girls in Afghanistan who can now go to school. It matters to the villagers in Pakistan whose homes were swept away by the flood who are getting shelter now. It matters to the Sierra Leonean women I met in the slums of Freetown who can get free health care for their children now. It's harder to make the case, of course it's harder to make the case for international aid when in this country the government are cutting the police and putting up tuition fees as part of their unnecessary and reckless austerity drive. But we must not make the world's poorest pay the price of a global financial crisis precipitated by greed and irresponsibility in the world's banking system. When people are dying unnecessarily and we can help, that is what we must do. That's always been Labour's long-standing commitment to international development and why Tony Blair and Gordon Brown made it a huge priority every day of our Labour government setting up the Department for International Development, trebling our aid budget, leading internationally to drop the debt which hung like a millstone round the neck of people in the poorest countries. Development helps this country too by growing the market for world trade and reducing the poverty which ferments instability and conflict. Now, in their election manifesto, the Tories promised to stick to Labour's commitment of aid growing to 0.7% by 2013. We want them to do that. And whilst the Secretary of State for International Development, Andrew Mitchell, is, to his credit, fighting to live up to our 7% promise, most of the Tories are against it, including his fellow Cabinet Ministers who are blocking the legislation they promised to put it into law. We must not let aid be just the next Tory broken promise. That's why, with the Labour campaign for international development, we launched the Keep the Promise campaign. But we know that there are crucial things on development which no Tory government will ever do. The Tories will never tackle the unfair trade which sees rich countries get richer and the poor get poorer. The Tories will never tackle the obscene global speculation on food and land that causes profits to soar while the poor go hungry. The Tories will never tackle climate change, which hits first and hardest at the poorest countries. That's what Ed Miliband did when we were in government, but we hear nothing of that now. And the Tories' team of men-only development ministers will never be able to lead the way empowering women and girls in the developing world. And the Tories will never lead internationally. This government now is not doing what Tony and Gordon did, making sure development was high on the agenda at every summit and that other countries play their part too in Britain, we are doing our bit, but it can't just be left to us. Ed Miliband has rightly talked about responsibility from the top to the bottom, and it's the same with international development. We in the developed world are responsible 
for doing what we can to save lives. Governments in developing countries are responsible for spending that aid carefully and fairly. That is their responsibility to us who give the aid, and above all, it is their responsibility to their people who need that aid. And there is responsibility too on global companies not to rip off developing countries. Africa has huge reserves of oil, gold, iron, diamonds. The biggest companies make billions of pounds of profit. They must publish what they get in profit from each country and what they pay in taxes to each country. Global companies... Global, global companies all say they are committed to transparency, but they are not doing it. No one can accept the situation where we have to give money to poor countries, but those countries which are rich in natural resources don't get their fair share of the profit from their mines. The truth is, more is lost to people in poor countries from tax dodging by global companies than is paid in aid. We need to be able to see global companies acting as a force for good, not undermining development as an engine of exploitation. The government have said they want this to happen, but they are doing nothing about it. That must change. Conference, international development is not just about charity, it's about rights. It's not just about philanthropy, it's about justice. We're in the Labour Party because we hate injustice and inequality, and together we'll fight against it. Our fantastic team of shadow ministers for the Department for International Development, Glenis Kinnick, Mark Lazarevich, and Roshnara Ali, together with faith groups, aid agencies, diaspora communities, and our Labour members, together we'll fight for a fair and equal world. Thank you. Thank you, Harriet. Right, we've now got a chance for some contributions from the floor. Um, I want to really try and prioritise delegates, and uh, there is going to be a later uh, se session of contributions which will cover defence as well as international development, so it might be good to particularly prioritise international development. Can I see who'd like to be called, please? 